gentlemen welcome to rpg maker vs ace video tutorials episode 10 making skills and let's just jump into this because i am not trying to waste time and do not mind the phone please and timer has started okay a whole bunch of skills in here um i don't know how to use 100 percent everything on here so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, sh it's actually basically specifically one thing that I don't know how to use on here, and I'm not gonna pretend that I do know what it does and try to teach you guys when I don't know what it does 100%. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip that one thing. Um, I just don't, let's only keep one skill and then clear it. Oh, no, let's keep that attack one because that's, oh no, cancel. That attack one is actually kind of important. And let's make sure, okay. Um, double, let's see, we'll go, okay, I don't need all that so let's go up, up to nine okay nine i actually meant to say eight so clear this clear this i think the one through seven are um i think they're like related to the game system and the battle system so i, I didn't want to change that like weight does i don't i don't know okay when you first start off general settings for your skills you first name your skill I'm gonna name it this skill. Icon, you pick your icon. What do you want the skill to look like? Um, I want to make it an attack that causes lightning damage. So let me pick the lightning icon. Um, this skill again description actually does affect it, so you could see what the skill does. So you want to um, inform the um, the player what the skill does. This skill damage with lightning how do you spell lightning fail i'm with thunder i forgot 100 how to spell lightning and i was not trying to remember thunder okay since it's like an elemental i might as well make it magic how much mp do i want it to cost let's say 15 how many tp five okay scope this is important scope means what the skill is attacking so you could either have it to be to attack one enemy all enemy and random one enemy up to random four enemies one allies and you want to do that allies for like if you're making a um healing thingy so one ally all allies only ally dead all ally dead and those um one I like dead and all I like dead is like for making the reviving skills that revive the play the actors when they die and the user basically affects you the player who's playing and none basically affects none and you want to do the none one if you're making can you do that in here no not anymore wait I think you can let me let me oh no you... oh yes you can okay the none part is basically if you want a skill that doesn't do anything that you wanted to you want to use it to like call up or come an event or something like that you could do that so when you use that skill so when you use that skill it calls up the coming event and yeah that's what that does occasion basically means always mean you can always use it whether you're in battle or you're just like walking around and not in the battle only in battle means it can only be used in a battle and only in menu means you can only use it in the menu and never means you can never use it obviously speed is how fast the skill works that means like you could have a powerful like let's say you have a like solar beam in pokemon um it's a powerful attack but it takes time to charge up and everything so that's basically what the speed does success is basically the percent of how much success rate you want in that <clears throat> excuse me i don't know what's in my throat um what am i talking about i was gonna say that's what she said but okay um success rate is basically how fast you want the um have not how fast like how the the oh my gosh i can't talk success rate is the rate that you want your attack to work that means 100 percent always works 95 percent works most of the time 50 percent could work one time and not work the other time repeats is how um how much you want it to repeat let's say you have an attack that damages all character um all enemies and you want it to repeat three times it does that skill three times 
how many TP you want to gain is kind of contradicted if you gain if you lost five TP and then gain five TP. So let's go ahead and do that. That means I basically don't lose any TP. Um, hit type, certain hit, physical hit, magical attack. Um, certain hit, no, I, okay, hold on, time on, give me a second. Okay, I don't know what certain hit means, so I'm not going to try to explain it to you. A physical attack basically just treats the attack as a regular physical attack, like if you're using a sword or anything like that. So it's going to basically be using the shield, um, your defense um, to like know if you want to, like to determine how much damage it's going to do. Magical is the same, but only treats it as a magical, meaning that if, if your magic defense is high, then you could use that to block the magical attack. If your defense is high and the person uses a physical attack, it's not going to really do much to you. So let's go ahead and make this a physical attack. I don't know what certain does. Um, I think certain is like a mixture of both. So I don't really know. Um, attack animation. I want this to be thunder. So let's go down to thunder. When I'm making my game, I usually um, leave all the animations as they are because I don't want to mess it up and because... It's actually a lot of animations, and I don't want them to just go to waste. Um, using me using message. This is basically the um, message that that shows up when your character uses a skill like name cast or name does or name uses. I'm gonna go ahead and pick uses skill, and you could I think you could add more to it, but I don't know. Required weapons. This is like if you want. Um, hold on. So basically, required um weapon. This is what it does. If your character can use an, a sword and could use a bow, you could definitely make it that the skill is only available to you when the character is able to use a... Dang it. Give me a second. Don't mind the baby crying in the background. Okay, so if you have... Okay, let's say your character can use a, a sword and you have the sword equipped then you could use the skill but if you don't have the sword equipped then you can't use the skill basically the same thing for weapon one and weapon two um i don't know if you if when you set both of them you have to have both of them equipped which i don't think is kind of possible i think it's just like it's either or um okay damage this is what the skill damage is you could damage the HP, MP, HP recovery, MP recovery. You could drain HP and you could drain MP. Let's go ahead and keep this at damage. Elemental, remember you set this at the um, turns, I think. And then let's go ahead and pick Thunder. Formula, don't get it, so I'm not going to explain it to you. Always leave this as 20, unless you know what you're doing. Critical, that means that I'm um, thinking critical, I think. Yep. Okay, effects again. It's not like the future one, which is passive. These actually do stuff like recovery. Like, let's say if this attack lands, you could recover HP, MP, or gain TP. Or you could add state to the enemy. Like, you could poison it. Like, make the thunder poison it. Something like that. Remove state. Um, like, this is basically for, like, reviving if you want. Remove state. Rev um, death or remove state poison. Those are for, like, healing stuff. And adding is for, like, adding stuff. Add buff, add debuff. Basically, these are um, other effects that the skill can't have. Like, you could use a skill that makes you learn another skill, or you could make a make a use a, have a skill that makes you learn. I mean, makes your attack go up. I don't know why anyone would do that. Although it's like, unless like a one-time skill. I'm gonna leave that blank. I don't want any special nonsense to be in there. And. That's basically it for skills. Clap for yourself, guys. You got through this far watching my videos, and I truly appreciate it. Um, well, that's basically it for this video. I've made my skill, and to finish my actor, let's go ahead and make him learn this skill at level three, which is this skill. So, this guy, which is the man. And the skill the guy man 
at level three learns this skill okay next episode i'll be um teaching you guys how to i mean what items weapons and armors do and uh, again thanks for tuning in my time just ran out and i'll have to be going now peace